Greetings everyone, it's Hong Wong from Hong Wong Wuja and today we are going to talk about the secret of Bruce Lee's Kung Fu Punch. First off, it wasn't really Bruce Lee's Kung Fu Punch. <laughs> However, that being said, he did popularize uh, Kung Fu to a great extent I mean, until he came along the uh, the representation of uh, of uh, martial arts in uh, film was uh, I'm not gonna, I don't want to say it was a slapstick at best because there were some some that were you know halfway decent but it was it was very unrealistic and um, I mean it mostly focused on the Wuja aspect and Bruce Lee yeah. make no mistake about it Bruce Lee was a uh, Kung Fu cinema star, not a Wuja cinema star. Um, and, uh, you know, he focused on making his uh, movies and his combat sequences, his combat sequences and choreography as realistic as possible. So, that being said, we are finally going to go over how to strike, how to strike, uh, and how to do a Kung Fu strike. The good news is it's not going to be very difficult because I guarantee you, if you've got hands, you know how to do it. <laughs> and you probably do it on a, on a regular basis. So we're going to, yes, Mr. Stu, we're going to, we're going to learn how to, uh, we're going to learn how to do it. We're going to learn how to throw a Kung Fu punch or a Kung Fu strike. And then we are going to do a fun drill. You and your hair. Then we're going to do a fun drill uh, to help you practice it. So, uh, what what is the Kung Fu Punch? Well, uh, there's the, the famous quote from uh, Bruce Lee that I see at least two or three times every year on Facebook floating around on the memes is uh, the, where he describes the difference between a karate punch and a Kung Fu Punch. The karate punch being like being hit with an iron bar and uh, the kung fu punch being like hit is like being hit with a, a iron chain with an iron ball attached to it and, and it hurting inside. Um, the karate punch is very similar to the boxing punch. Um, but that being said, there the the boxing jab is very similar to the kung fu punch. Very similar. Not quite the same, very, very close. All right, so what is the difference between the karate and the kung fu punch? I'm just gonna say boxing versus kung fu instead of karate versus kung fu, so you have a better idea. All right, so the boxer is going to punch, and he punches, he's punching, punching through the object. So, Putting, putting all of his weight behind it, and he's twisting. And you're gonna do this also with the kung fu punch, but it's it's thrown differently. Your connection, there's there's as you're punching, there's very little extension for one. Um, you mostly see it with the jab, okay? But it's all in it's all tight, and you're you're punching through. The object that you're hitting. Okay, whereas with the Kung, the kung Fu strike is more of a whipping action. So rather than wanting to strike here and punching all the way through, I'm going to punch here and then as soon as we, we're, and we're going to be relaxed while we're punching too. So the other one is you're, you're kind of tense most of the time when you're done, which kind of slows you down as well. Okay, with the Kung Fu Punch, you're relaxed the whole time until the exact moment of contact. And that is when you tighten everything up. And like I said, it's a whipping motion. So rather than punching all the way through, ah, I got something in my eye. Hard contacts suck. 
especially in the desert. All right, so, when, like I said, with the boxer, this is the target right here, but he's gonna, he's punching onto the other side. That's where he's aiming for with his punch. And he wants to drive right through. With the Kung Fu punch, you want to strike at right when you, literally right when you get the contact. You want to snap it back, bam! And that's what causes like a, a that's what causes you to feel it inside you. <laughs> Contrary to uh, pseudoscientific BS, you're not throwing your chi into the person. Was it like with the did not think for the the. the <laughs> John Claude Van Damme movies. Not that I'm making fun of John Claude Van Damme, I actually like him. But the guy he was portraying in the movie <laughs> makes me laugh because the guy was such a con man. Uh, you can literally, <laughs> apparently, you could get away with every anything before the internet came around. <laughs> you want to go inside, Stu? You can literally get away with anything before the internet came around. You could claim to be anything. Um, well, there's John Claude Van Damme. He, he claimed to be a, a Sabat uh, kickboxing champion, but uh, the records are not as clear. <laughs> but yeah, I don't personally. I don't think it's a big deal I mean, whether he was or not. Whether it was like padding his resume or not. I think he's a pretty decent martial artist. I like. I like the I, I I like the choreography in most of his movies, but let me just uh, preface that with I haven't watched any of his movies in like 10, 15 years, so I don't know if uh, I would still feel that way. I'd have to watch him watch some of them again. All right, so actually no, I did watch one of his one of his movies not too long ago, uh, Netflix that he just did. So, right, we're, we're, we're going off topic here. <laughs> Alright, so how, all right, like I said, uh, when I started this off, uh, everyone knows how to do this punch. Okay? Um, you do it every day, at least once or twice. When you wash your hands and you rinse off, or, or after you wash your hands, and you want to get that water off of you, what do you do? You do this. And that is the motion that you're doing. You're just making, instead of going like this with your fingers, which you could do it with your fingers too. You wouldn't want to get hit with somebody's fingers coming at you and doing that motion. <laughs> Believe me. Um, because with, with the fingers, much like, I mean, for, forget about the, the fist, but if you do that with the fingers, um, even without nails, more than likely your fingers are going to cut that person's skin if you do it hard enough. Um, and yes, I have done that before, so <laughs> I know where I speak. Um, Let's see. So what you want to practice is turning that motion into that motion. Now you just got to, it's just a, like I said, you want to stay relaxed until right at the moment of contact and right when you contact, you want to pull it back. Twice as fast as you send it back. That's what's going to cause the uh, the pain to be felt inside. It's just like a, the difference between it's a, it's a pretty thick towel. So I don't know if I'm going to do this. The difference between hitting someone like that and 
doing that. There's a, there's a big difference if you get hit in the face with that or you get hit in the face with that. And that's the difference in these punches. Now that I've explained it and, and, and I hope you understand it a little bit, we're going to do a drill where you can uh, practice this. And it's a fun drill. It's kind of like a carnival trick so you can mess with your friends and stuff. Um, so, tell so I was thinking about this on my way back in here. Um, women with those French nails, you do this. That turns those nails into lethal weapons. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, we have some candles lit here. Now, first off, if you do not have tile, if you do not have a tile floor, uh, or you know you, you don't have a concrete in your garage or whatever, I would recommend getting one, getting like a uh, one of these little shelves and uh, putting your candles on here. Um, so that you don't, you know, we don't, you don't want to burn your house down. Second thing is, I would recommend not using uh, stick candles because uh, bam, you might wind up hitting it and then knocking it around, and uh, and you got candle wax everywhere. It may be a fire, <laughs> so don't do that. So now, the purpose of this drill is just to practice doing the whipping action. And what you're going to do is you're going to, well, let's see, I already screwed up. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to try and knock out each one of these candles one by one without uh, touching it. So what we're going to do is we're going to come, we're going to raise our hand up and we're going to whip down. And basically you're just going to create some air and you're going to knock a candle out. You're not pulling chi into your body and then sending it out to snuff out the flame. <laughs> you're merely, you're merely creating like a, a, you're merely creating a rush of wind which is knocking the candle out, but you're directing it and it'll, it, it's teaching you how to strike properly. So, one, two, three, four, five, six and uh this this looks really cool <laughs> when you're at a party and somebody wants the candle uh, and you do it from about five feet away <laughs> but then you can pretend that you have the power but we know that you don't anyway And I recommend using one of these so you don't burn your fingers using a regular lighter. <laughs> yeah, these are like tea lights you can, I don't know. I've had these for years. <laughs> I don't really practice this drill that all that much because I have real candles. So I practice when I knock them, I, I go putting them out. So I don't use this that much, but just. Ah, uh, see? It's all about practice. And it's like I said, I haven't been practicing this that much. I don't even know. I don't think I can do it as well with my left hand because my left hand is kind of gimpy. Or my left arm is gimpy, so I don't. So anyway, practice doing this. And uh, you can also put them in your group, see if you can do more. <sighs> nope. And 
and uh, and so on and so forth. You can put them on. You can put them in like little lines, stand them in lines, spread them out. Practice uh, practicing one here, one here, one here, one here, and so on and so forth. fun little drill that you can do to practice your strikes. All right, well, this has been Hong Long from Hong Long Wong Jun. I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the video. We will be doing another one in the next few days on Fa Jing so that we can uh, proceed with the Chen Tai Chi next Tuesday. That's it. Uh, so if you liked the video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm streaming almost every night now. So if you wanna talk to me about any of the martial arts stuff or anything at all, just come on, stop by and say hello and uh, tell me where you're from and what, what you're interested in and uh, what your question is. And I will be more than happy to answer it, unless you're trolling me. <laughs> all right, until next time, everybody, keep practicing.